Yeah, there comes a day, man. Everyone's gonna have this day. There comes a day where being average, being mediocre, is just sickening to you. It's just sickening. It makes you want to throw up. Because you've seen people with far less talent than you. As you're growing up with them, their childhood buddies, whatever else, they didn't have what you had. Yet now they're going to become something that you haven't. There comes that day. It's either when you're young, you know, and, and it strikes you on the baseball field because you're sick of striking out. Or it's it's when you get fired from your fifth job, you know, and your wife and kids won't because you don't know how to support them anymore. There comes a day where push comes to shove. Where being mediocre, being like average, it just fing burns it so much. You can't deal with it one more day and you get off your and you create something that's always been there. It's always been inside of you trying to come out, but you've never wanted to unwrap it because it's too much pain and commitment. You were scared you were going to fail. You were scared if you started, you never finish it. You didn't want to tell anyone about it. You knew it was there, but you never wanted to embark on it until something you get fired or somebody else gets success remind you what you could have been and then the spark is born and no matter what happens I'm never gonna be in this boat again you're gonna have a lot of things come against you you're gonna have people that tell you to stop you're gonna have challenges that tell you to stop and you're gonna feel like giving up every damn day because you'll feel like life is beating you over and over Legends aren't defined by their successes. They're defined by how they bounce back from their failures. The highs I've experienced, they were only possible by how I bounced back from the lows. From those moments when I wondered if it was worth it, or if I was wasting my time, if it was good enough. Now I'm sitting there thinking, take a day off. No one will know. But I keep on thinking too. There's always someone out there working harder than you. I'm haunted by that mother. Knowing that that's someone out there is willing to forgo personal desires and comforts, forgo sleep, forgo whatever it takes to be better, to be the best. In life, a lot of times, a lot of us have that person out there. It may not be a name or a face to him, but he exists. You make sure in life when they think about that person, you make sure they put a name and face to it. You make sure their name and face is yours. You do the haunting. Get in somebody's head, own space. In all times when you want to quit, because we're all human, you make sure you remember one thing. All those times, and hours, and days, you sacrifice to be the best. Stay hard. People are going to think you're crazy. And sometimes you're going to think you're crazy. You're going to question yourself. It takes guts, ladies and gentlemen, to go through that. People used to laugh at me in Detroit. When I was sleeping on the floor of my office in the Penobscot building, it was rough, ladies and gentlemen, it was not easy. When I was laying on the floor looking out of the window, when I was questioning myself, Les, can you do this? I was questioning myself. You know, when, when, you, when you say you're going to do something and then you follow through and you do it, not, not, not at the end when you, you, know, you cross the marathon, you finish it, or, or your hands raised. I'm talking about right now the small steps in between the big successes that everyone sees. No one sees this. Right now, I'm saying, like, there's a confidence to it, man. There's, this, there's a bad mother that's right here, you know, that it's getting ahead of the competition. There's an overwhelming sense of fulfillment and pride and satisfaction with that. When you have a dream, the one thing you have to watch out for are those out there that will try to crush your dream. And you cannot allow that to happen. That is your biggest challenge. It's necessary, ladies and gentlemen, that you look at the people in your life. Who do you have yourself surrounded with? It's necessary, ladies and gentlemen, that you get the energy drainers out of your life, the dream busters. Get them out of your life. They will deplete your energy. They're going to laugh at you. Take 10 seconds to get it again, beast. Get it, David. Come on. Ah, there you go. There you go. Energy. Let it out. Seven. Hey. Nine. Paying the machine here. There you go. Nobody works like David in this house. Thirteen. Come on. Fourteen. Come on. Fifteen. Shut that muscle down. Sixteen. Come on. Get it. Seventeen. They don't know me, son. Get it. Eighteen. They don't know me, son. Get it. 
19. You me, son. Yeah. 20, you got some more than you. 21. Yeah, get it again. Come on, we want to see it. Good, 22. Who's going to carry the boats and the logs? That you, buddy. Come on, 23. Come on, 24. One more, Dan. Who's one more to carry the boats? You're going to do it. You're going to do it. You're going to do it. You did it. Yeah. The more I failed, the more my father's words were creeping to my mind about how I'm not good enough. All this other shit he said to dehumanize me. As time went on, I started realizing the more I didn't quit, the more self-respect I gained. And the power was all mine. In life, it's important to do one thing. Many people will try to dehumanize you. It's up to you to find self-respect and dignity in yourself. You don't need a uniform to have honor. You need to have pride in yourself, dignity. They already will hate you, man. They really will. They're gonna hate you because, you know, your success is a spotlight shining down their misfortune. They and hate you for what you're doing is reminding them of, the, of their missed opportunities and stuff. So, you know, it's lonely, man. It's like being this only car out in the parking lot. But if you're cool with that, man, if you're cool with walking in the shadows of yourself and, you know, the only person you got is the man right there in the shadow, man. How you doing? Pretty good. How you doing? All right, man. Cool, cool. It's kind of weird me having a conversation with you, but ain't no one else around because everyone else has faded way back then. Way back there. You know, if you're cool with that kind of walk of life, I'll tell you, man. The world is your playground. To all you computer warrior, trolls, haters, I read your message on those videos I put up with me and my crutches. He did my knees break. You were happy I was ninja. You're also happy because you thought I'd never run again. All that sea, I told you. Tagging your friends. Still fing on me. You see a one minute video about me. You know how hard I train, how I live, the dedication I put into my life. So why do you troll? Maybe it's a fat look at home. Lazy. But no discipline or dedication. Maybe you're jealous. Who knows? But guarantee this. I'll be back better than ever. Stay hard. You gotta stop looking to others for support and look inside yourself. The lion in you never retreats. Imagine us taking the lion approach to life. I ain't backing up. A lion don't walk backwards for nothing. You gotta tell yourself, I can do this. You're more powerful than you realize. You're stronger than you think you are. You can survive more than you think you can. You're more capable than you can possibly imagine. It was necessary that I face a lot of rejection, a lot of laughter, a lot of no's in order to get here, to enjoy the level of success. It was necessary that I face that. And I'm saying to you, when you're facing those rejections day in and day out, don't say, I had a bad day today. Say, I had a character building day. We can be active participants in our being here, or we can be victims. Before anything can take place, you've got to believe in your heart of hearts that it's possible that you can be this. And this is when your mind has to change. You gotta start thinking, I'm the greediest motherfucker in the world. You gotta start armoring your mind. Start preparing yourself for what's out here in life. Build confidence, build self-esteem. The hardest thing in the world is to believe in you, to believe you're special, to believe you're different, to believe you're supposed to be somebody. The hardest thing in the world is in spite of all your fears, all your worries, all your doubt, all your feelings of inadequacy, is to believe in yourself one more time, to pick yourself up off the mat one more time. Anybody can believe when the struggle is over.
but I want to talk to some people who are in the middle of the struggle and you still believe. I know you're tired. I know your arms are aching. I know your mind is frustrated. I know you feel like it's not fair. I know you feel like throwing up your hand and you're depressed and you lost loved ones and you've been through heartaches and it's not the best time in your life. All hell might be breaking loose in your life and tell them I can do it. If it don't happen, I can do it. If you don't love me, I can do it. If you don't want me, I can do it. If you leave me, I can do it. If you betray me, I can do it. You gotta talk to yourself. Sometimes healing takes place first in the spirit. You gotta tell yourself, I can do this. I got what it takes. I will not be defeated. Wouldn't it be amazing if you believe that? Wouldn't you sleep good tonight if you believe that? Wouldn't you walk around with your head up and your back straight if you believe that? You wouldn't be intimidated by anybody, anywhere, at any time if you just believe that. So you've got to decide, you've got to say, it's possible that I can beat this. It's necessary that I do this. You've got to mobilize your mind and your spirit that I can find a solution. I'm not through yet. I've got some purpose that I've got to fulfill. I've got some work. I have an assignment that's incomplete. I'm not through yet. I'm not going out like this. I'm going to fight. And it's necessary that you take charge and you begin to stand up with inside of yourself, that you dry your tears and you're not given the luxury of feeling sorry for yourself, that you get busy, you start doing research and asking questions, that you got to get in a fighting mode. You can't surrender. You can't be a chump. You got to fight back. You got to stand up and start. So wait a minute. What is it I need to do? You got to make yourself move even if it hurts. Your belief must be so strong that when people doubt you, ridicule you and come against you, it's nothing but a minor inconvenience. You've got to really do the prayer, meditation, journaling, affirmation, declarations, and be around people who really don't care that much about what people think of them. Everyone has an opinion. Why let the opinions of other people deny you from a life that will make history? Your belief, your faith, your drive, your determination, your persistence, your perseverance, your spirit. Greater is he that is in you than what's out here in this world.